Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today I want to talk a bit about my self-harm scars. Now this is a deep subject so we're not going to stand up for this. I have self-harm scars all over the side of my arm, all there. Uh, I, I have tattoos over them now. When I first started self-harming, I was six, seven-ish, I wasn't very old. And I would scratch there with the metal end of a pencil. I'd, I'd pencil sharpened up and I'd use it and I'd scratch there because it was covered by my clothes then. So no one noticed. My mom has never seen a self-harm mark on my body. She's seen scars. As my self-harm progressed through the little journey I went on, it ended up getting quite severe and I've been left with scars, which isn't good. I'm not embarrassed by the scars or ashamed of the scars. I don't have anything else to say about scars. Given if I had a choice, I wouldn't have them. I don't have that choice. It's just a really complicated thing. I've grown to accept my scars for what they are and I'm not embarrassed by them, like I said just. What bothers me about having scars is people stare. I try to drown it out by wearing sunglasses, putting my headphones in and it still plays on my mind. But honestly, I think, I don't think it's something anyone should be ashamed of. Self-harm is a horrible thing to go through. I just think we need to grow as a community to show that it's okay to have scars. Like, it's a thing of the past for us. And there's a siren. That was a quick siren. When I first started self-harming, it didn't leave scars. As it progressed onwards, it slowly started getting more serious. And the scars were starting to show. Like, my first scar is there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I have a scar going down my hand. It's a constant reminder that I did that to myself. And it doesn't make you feel great. If I could go back in time and stop one thing, it would be to stop self-harming. But yeah, that's just, that's just my thoughts on my self-harm scars. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you for watching, and if you're new, subscribe. Peace.